Bursting into tears, this newsreader announces the death of the dear leader. Kim Jong-il dreamed of being a film producer. He became a dictator instead. He ruled North Korea for 17 years after succeeding his father, Kim Il-sung, at the head of the communist regime. Here, only the military and Kim's relatives live comfortably. The rest of the population faces repeated famines and dire poverty. Kim Jong-il had it all. Women, alcohol, an extravagant lifestyle, everything except the looks. At five foot three, he wore platform shoes and permed hair to appear taller. The man was seen as eccentric. Many believe he was mad. He engineered the kidnapping of his favorite South Korean filmmaker and his actress girlfriend, who were forced to film North Korean propaganda for eight years. But those who met him, like the former U.S. Secretary of State Madeleine Albright, said he wasn't at all delusional. Over the past few years, he participated in talks to reconcile the two Koreas. But defiant pursuit of a nuclear weapons program isolated North Korea from the rest of the world. Kim Jong-il rarely appeared in public. The last video of him was reportedly shot in October during a visit in a factory, a mine and a fertilizer plant. In recent years, North Korea kept denying rumors that he was ill. But photos of him visiting troops showed he'd lost a lot of weight. He'd appeared gaunt and greying and set the stage for his succession. In September, he officially introduced his youngest son to the population. Kim Jong-un, reportedly 27, was made a four-star general, a promotion celebrated with one of the country's most lavish military parades. Kim Jong-un now has to take over from his father, who, according to state television, died of physical and mental overwork.